people seem to forget that we are still like a veterans organization because we employ current serving and retired. It brings a lot of pride, uh, especially knowing that this organization was founded for military people, like retired or still serving people that, you know, as an income. It brings a lot of pride to be able to uh, display my past. <laughs> It's definitely nice to be able to, th to put on a uniform again and, uh, and continue serving. Not, not in the same manner as I was serving before, but you, you still, you help people. I think it's important uh, for veterans, um, when they come and work with other veterans, there's that sense of, of trust and comradeship that, that you kind of don't get maybe somewhere else. I waited 10 years and I wish that I had done it much sooner. Um, I'm very happy where I am now, and I definitely encourage all veterans to, uh, it's, it's a much easier transition than to try and go it alone. Um, there's a, a, a camaraderie there that isn't there. Um, Civvy side, that uh, it, it's very familiar, it's like home. It's almost a homecoming to go back to looking after the section that looks after the Department of National Defense. Uh, I work in a building uh, downtown, 101 Colonel By, which is the headquarters of DND, and that's where I work. So I walk the halls and I walk the, the you know, the, the offices, and I work and I see people that I used to see when I was in the military. The transition between military and civilian is a terrifying uh, ordeal. Uh, coming out of the military, especially for as long as I did it, uh, you're regulated day in, day out. You know what to wear, when to wear it, where to be, what time to be there. And all of a sudden, all that's removed and it's like getting up in the morning going, what am I gonna put on? You don't know. So the commissioners, it was in uniform. It was basically, you knew what time you had to be there. Um, you knew what to wear, you knew what was expected of you, and you know the standards. And the standards are very, very close to, to being in the Army. So it was a perfect fit for me. It's hard to take this uniform off. It's, it's not what you do, it's who you are. I think that's a hard thing. So it gives them that next phase. <clears throat> gives them that next phase so that they can feel like they're, they've got a purpose again. The commissioner has always been, been home. I've, I've left to see if there's greener grass on the other side of the fence. I've done work in the casinos, uh, doing security and security manager, but always end up coming back to the commissioners because it's, you know, where, where I feel the, uh, at home the most. Ten years in Whistler, I ran across maybe a half a dozen military guys and the whole time I was up there, you know, it's, you're quite isolated from it. Coming back here, joining the commissioners, it's, uh, even though most of my guys are, uh, are Navy, it's still a lot of fun to be able to speak military again. Originally, when I was leaving the military, I, I, I didn't set my sights on being a commissioner, but it was the commissioner where I had worked who suggested it. And uh, after he started talking to me about it, and I did a little bit of research on what it was for, I thought, you know, this is, this is a really good uh, organization, or it seems to be. Um, they also help the community. It's not just, uh, you know, you, you go to work and, and uh, they pay you, that kind of thing. It's, it's a, it's a well-rounded organization, and, and I thought it was something that I wanted to be part of. That sense of family, that sense of innate pride, you know, in what you've done, uh, that stands out. And that, to me, that's what attracted me to, uh, to commissioners. And my youngest one, she was in Pioneers, but she passed away from cancer. But I was in with the commissioners and they were great. They, um, they held my spot, called, offered support. It's a great uh, second career, um, especially, you know, uh, younger ones that are retiring. You can make a pretty good paycheck and stuff like that, depending on what, you, what you're doing. We've diversified greatly now. We're not just the guys at the old military bases uh, access control. We still do that, but I mean we do bylaw enforcement, we do pardons and fingerprints and threat risk analysis. Um, there's all kinds of stuff that's evolving right now that's above and beyond what the normal security 
type of job was. And was it a hard transition? Yep, it was hard. I had the mindset or the mentality that this is how things are done, this is how things are laid out, so forth and so on, and everything, everything had a step. And civilians, I call it, you know, the civilian world was kind of not regimed per se, and I, find that, I found that very hard. It just brings back that whole military camaraderie, and it, and it does feel good. It feels like going home. When I got the job at the base, that's exactly what I said. I'm going home.